In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sigma Excel to create multivary charts. The multivary chart is a powerful tool to identify dominant sources of variation. The three major families of variation are within unit, between unit, and temporal or over time variation. We will look at examples of each source of variation and then use the multivary chart to study overall satisfaction in our customer data file. Now, the first step for this example is to open the sample data called multivary data. It's located in the sample data folder in Sigma Excel's installation directory. So once you have the data open, make sure you are on the within sheet in the data and click on graphical tools and click on multivary options. Now you're going to be presented with some sample multivary charts. These multivary charts aren't actually based on the data you have open. They're just for demonstration purposes to show you how these various options will look. Now for this example, select all of the options under general options. And under mean options, select show means, connect means, and group means. After doing that, you can click on finish. And you'll be presented with the option to create an actual multivary chart. So ensure that all of the data is selected in your within worksheet and click on Next. Now for the numeric response, select measurement. For X1, select unit. For X2, select time. And click OK. And you'll see that the resulting multivary chart is shown and it demonstrates our within unit source of variation. So now we'll go ahead and click on the between sheet in our multivary data file and we will create another multivary chart. So once you are on your between sheet, make sure that all of your data is selected and click Next. And we're selecting the same variables, measurement for your Y, unit for your X1, and time for your X2, and click OK. Now we can see that the resulting multivary chart illustrates the dominant between unit sources of variation. Now lastly, we're going to select the overtime worksheet within our workbook, and we will create our final multivary chart. And again, it's going to be the same variables, measurement, unit, and time, and click OK. So now we can see that the dominant overtime sources of variation will be created. Now I'm going to demonstrate creating multivary charts to analyze our customer data workbook. So it's located in the same place as you opened multivary. Now with our overall, or rather with our customer data workbook selected, once again click on graphical tools and select multivary charts. Use all of your data and click next. Now this time, we are going to select overall satisfaction as our numeric response Y. We're going to select customer type as our X1, size of customer as our X2, and product type as the X3, and click OK. Now if I zoom out to give a better look at the entire chart, we can see that this multivary chart reveals that the dominant source of variation is within customer type, followed by between customer type. Now, furthermore, it would be worthwhile to examine the combination of customer type 2, customer size large, and product type consumer, due to the relatively high score and low variation that we see here. Now, other tools that can help us identify potential X factors that may explain some of the large within variability are the scatterplot, the scatterplot matrix, and the correlation matrix.